Wewe sababu imekushinda wewe. But tuendelee na kazi. Ah. Eh, wacha 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 wacha. Hiyo hiyo tutasort. Hiyo tutasort. Zisumbue mtoto bana. Aki asanti sana. Eh. Sasa niulize. Mm. Eh, Suzi. Dema kiko hii stage ya mimba si anakongana moto mob sana. Eh, najua tu sasa hii kwanza nikapata demka eh siwezi wacha. Ina kaa tu baraka mingi. Wewe ya bel wewe, ebu tuheshimiane. Ni nini hizi unasema? Eh? Hata hauna aibu. Ah uh, bana, wacha kuwa hivyo bana. Wacha kuwa hivyo. Cheki. Mimi najua kuna mali umto hiyo ametoka, si ndio? Na najua unajua pia hizi vitu. Si ati tudanganyane hapa. Kwa nini nadhani yaka katoika litoka wapi? Wewe ya bel wewe, tuheshimiane. Ah <laughs> uh, wacha hiyo nitakubebea, usijali nitakubebea. Ah uh, usikuwe hivyo. Sitaki. Suzi. Sasa nakosa ni kitu ndogo kaa hiyo. Just like Abel in this video, you might think that aiming such comments towards a pregnant woman is harmless. This is a form of sexual harassment. You might also think the harassment of pregnant women only happens in the streets and that it cannot happen at the workplace or even at educational institutions. Well, think again. Sexual harassment of pregnant women is more common than you think. This harassment ranges from the use of words to actions that are harmful to the victims. Listen to this story from a student counselor at a Tibet institution in Kenya who dealt with a serious case of sexual harassment of a pregnant trainee. Uh, a student was, be, was being sponsored for her studies in a particular college. Then when she came in for her studies, she reached a point whereby she became pregnant and we, we were told that the student was, she was married. Then when she became pregnant, the sponsor started having some issues with her and this issue was just she the sponsor wanted some sexual favors from the student and the sponsor started pushing her so hard by saying that having or being pregnant means that she was actively involved in sex and therefore she had to submit to his advances for her to get the fee. And the words maybe the sponsor was using that were very harsh and not comfortable for the student was, when you are expecting, it means you are sexually active. It means you do these things every day. Why can't you do it with me for once? It can't change anything. You'll be just fine. It won't take away anything from you. You remain with your baby and everything and your husband. But for me, I need just you for some time and I will leave you. Those unwelcome statements that you are sweet, you are this one. When you are in this state, you are this one. There were also text messages that were there and they were seen by the management. So the student underwent counseling and the sponsor was put on a task just to pay fee in a manner that he did not understand what was going on. Then once the student finished, it was just communicated to him that thank you for doing that. But uh, we had this report and this reports that you've been sexually harassing our student, but Kindly, can it stop from your end? But the student graduated and she finished her studies. People that make inappropriate comments or actions towards pregnant women should always be called out. Every workplace or institution of learning should make pregnant women feel comfortable and safe to make complaints in cases of harassment. This can be done through focal persons, such as the case of the TVET institution we just watched.